What's up, guys? Welcome back to Ratchet and Clank, and we've got a cutscene. Awesome. Yes, quite lovely. That should just about do it. Commander, we are finished with this world. Commence towing our planet to its next destination. Lieutenant! Yes, sir. You have fulfilled your tree quota. Barely. We are ready to return to base. Not so fast, Lieutenant. Just because we don't need any more trees doesn't mean they should have them. Destroy everything. Oh, man. <laughs> that's, that's pretty bad. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's up, but uh, if you heard any clicking in the background at all, I'm sorry about that. I'm actually uploading the next part of the sped run of Leaf Green. It's uh, part six, so obviously this is still being recorded um, way back when. I don't know when this will be uploaded, but it'll be uploaded while I'm in Florida, not being able to make videos. Uh, one, because I'm uh, spending my time on more useful stuff, like hanging out with my old friends when I used to live here. And uh, also my family. And uh, I'm kind of talking about my future self. I really don't know if I'll actually be doing any of this. But uh, that's, this is what I'm hoping I do. Because that's why I kind of came over to Florida. Either way, last episode we got the Trespasser. And uh, now we can access this secret area back here. So, oh, never mind. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, but, yeah. With the Trespasser we can access this area. And uh, there might be a new gun to buy. Actually, I should show that off um, first. I think there actually is a new gun. And it's called something along the lines of Awesome Cannon. So let me check it out. Ah, never mind. So it looks like the awesome cannon is still not available, but it should be available sometime in the next uh, few episodes. So, uh, Gloves of Doom, I really don't recommend you guys get. I I don't like the gun that much, but uh, like I said, I'll be getting all the guns eventually. Just uh, Glove of Doom, not a big fan, so I won't be getting it for a while. I would rather save my money for better guns right now. Shut up! <laughs> yeah, she tells you that you can use a trespasser. I know that, and I can tell you. So there we go, just match up the uh, stuff going on there. I really don't know how to explain the trespasser puzzles, they're pretty self-explanatory I guess you could say, you just uh, push up and down to switch between um, the inner circles and the outer circles and you use the, um, the, the, the left and right buttons to actually rotate them and try to get the lights into the corresponding sockets I guess you could say. Either way, we're heading over here, and uh, yeah, I do remember the awesome cannon is in this level. I think it's actually what we're about to be getting. It is optional, however, so if you want to get the suck cannon, it is like an amazing gun. Um, I kind of just spoiled the name of it, but that's what we're getting now. And it is just absolute ponage, so I definitely recommend you use it. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing. It takes out uh, small enemies and also lets you, you know, in turn take out the bigger enemies by using the smaller enemies to launch them at the bigger enemies and overall it's just amazing and I almost missed the ledge there but uh whatever kind of just spoiled that we're getting the suck cannon but uh it's it's just amazing I really I really that's all I have to say about it uh but going back to talking about future self uh, this is all being recorded on the first of July uh which is also the day I think I made my first vlog um I haven't made it yet but I'm also thinking about future self uh, my future self is going to be doing some awesome stuff in the future, so, yeah, I will be making some more vlogs, uh, while I'm in Florida, possibly, and, uh, just kind of wanted to update you guys on, you know, what's, what's going on, what I'm doing, uh, while I'm posting all these pre-recorded videos, which, uh, this one is included, but I'm still talking about my future self, and I kind of feel like Wheezy Waiter, bow, 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 Wheezy Waiter's a pretty awesome guy. Oh, man. Uh, he just pooped out an infobot. You sure showed him. I suppose I did. Definitely. Is your current occupation leaving a rotten taste in your mouth? Then you need to know about BTS, Blog Tactical Research Station. Hi, I'm Supreme Executive Chairman Drek. And we here at BTS are seeking motivated individuals to fill positions in these exciting careers. Grind boot tester. Warhead assembly technician. Mutant animal husbandry. Robot repair man. Suck cannon test dummy. And administrative assistant. So call BTS. Build our weapons while you build your future. I'm calling BTS today. Now we're talking. Did you see all the cool gadgets they're making? Let's go get some. No, we must continue our search for Captain Quark. You're absolutely right. 
I am. Sure. We need to find Quark. Although when we find him, wouldn't it be nice to be able to tell him where Chairman Drek is? I suppose. Well, we go to the space station and talk to the scientists. They work for Drek, so they're bound to know where he is. I am unsure about your logic. Ah, uh, you think too much. Come on, let's go. I have no idea why the dude in the infobot talked that way. It was really weird, but uh... Whatever, uh, I, apparently I confused myself once again. Again, I really haven't played this game. Uh, I played it like a month ago, I beat the entire thing, and uh, I still... I know where everything is, I just sometimes confuse where they are. I, I'm 100% sure that the Suck Cannon is indeed in this planet, and you get it for free, so... Yeah, we're about to go get that, I guess. Um, let's, let's turn this and pump up the bridge. Oh no, please don't hit me! Urgh. Come on, come on, come on! Ah, oh, damn it! Hoping I would get the bridge up before this dick came along and punched me in the face with his axe. Actually, you don't punch people with an axe. You kind of just cut him, I guess. I don't know. I don't know why that doesn't really... I don't know. Video game logic, man. You, you have a little tiger kind of thing, whatever ratchet is. I know he's a lombax, but whatever animal you can compare him to, he looks like a... He doesn't really look like a rat, but that's his name. Ratchet, mainly because Ratchet is the tool, is, is, is some kind of tool, I, I don't know exactly what it is, I know it's a tool used in uh, building stuff, building shit, that's why he's Ratchet, uh, that's, that was pretty lame, either way, we're gonna go get the Suck Cannon, and I believe it's down this way, so let's use the Porositer to take out all these noobs here, and I don't know why I've said Pwn and Noob in this episode, but I guess I'm uh, going back to the old school internet leet speak and stuff, Really haven't used many of those words in a while, um, mainly because Epic kind of stopped being Epic because now everyone in real life kind of uses it, and it's really stupid. Uh, this is actually the exit, so I totally did this backwards. Um, yeah, I guess we're heading off this way. Whatever. I really don't remember where the um, the bolts are. Oh, there, there's the bolts. Um, it's a lot easier to get with the thruster pack, though, so I definitely recommend you guys get it when we get that thruster pack upgrade. Oh, man, spoilers, but... uh. There we go, we can get that pretty easily as well. Alright, cool. I actually don't know if I meant that it was easier with the thruster pack or with the helipack, but I kind of just spoiled that you get the thruster pack later on. Either way, got ourselves a nice new gold bolt, and now we're heading on to the awesome cannon. I really, really want the awesome cannon, and it's taking a really long time to get. Um, let's kill you with a knife. That's not really a knife, it's a wrench, but yeah, it's a ratchet. That's not a ratchet either. You know what, I'm just gonna, if there's a cutscene later on, I'm just gonna Google what a ratchet is, because I know it's a tool, I don't know what it looks like, but I know that as, as soon as I see the picture, I'll be like, oh, so that's, that's what it is, yeah. Um, let's head over here, I think there's, this is an optional area, I'm pretty sure, but I guess we can turn this thing down and head up on the platform to get some more bolts. Uh, this thing right here is what you, we need the, uh, the thing from the Skid McMarks' agent to activate, so... We'll just be heading on past these giant trees, I guess. Um, I have no idea what I was talking about earlier in the video, but I think I was talking about uh, my future self and Wheezy Waiter being awesome and stuff. Uh, so yeah, my future self will be going to Florida, um, and I, I'm hoping that I'll get to spend some time with my family over there. I actually have a new cousin um, that was born, like, uh, I think a month or two ago. So that's going to be pretty awesome. I've never really, you know, had a newborn baby in the family. My mom had my sister when I was like four and that's it. I don't really have any other relatives, not relatives, I don't have any other siblings or cousins that are small. And I do have a cousin that's like five or six, but I never really got to see him as a newborn baby. So I guess you could say I've never really had experience with newborn babies. I don't know why I'm talking about that because I really don't want, you know, at this mindset of which I am right now, which is 16, I don't think anyone wants to really have a baby. It's always really accidents, but uh, I really just overall in my life right now don't think I want to have babies. I, if I ever do have kids, I would adopt one that's uh, old enough to, you know, be cool and not really have to do all the boring baby stuff. I just really don't want to have to wake up at like 4 in the morning to take care of a baby. And I don't know, that's just my mindset right now. It'll probably change in the future, but uh, either way, I don't know. I just feel like adopting is cool and uh, I don't know. That's just me in uh, 2011. But who knows? Maybe the world will end in 2012. I'll never have to worry about that. I'm really hoping not because that would really suck if 2012 was the end of the world because that would mean that uh, 
pretty much wasted my life going to school when I could have been doing lots of other cool stuff, even though uh, I think YouTube, you know, has really changed that for me. It's like, I've been wasting my time at school to get myself a better job, and then it, the world ends in 2012, but I feel that uh, with YouTube, I've got pretty much a hobby as a job now, so it's really pretty much anyone's dream come true, and even though it, it's not really like a full salary, for me right now, being 16, I don't have to worry about depths or anything, so it is pretty sweet just to have like a hobby as a job that really just pays for everything that I do need, which is basically stuff, random craft that I like to buy, such as uh, um, the HDP VR that I plan on buying soon, and uh, by soon I mean today, the day this is all being recorded. Actually, I might go tomorrow, which is going to be Saturday. Um, I also need to get myself some uh, contact lenses done, so that's actually something that's more of a need rather than some random shit I want. Uh, random stuff that I've actually gotten is, uh, I got an iPod, I mean, I wanted one of those since my old one was stolen it somewhere, I, I kind of lost it, I didn't really, it was probably stolen because when I went to look for it, it wasn't gone, but, uh, I kind of lost it and then, uh, someone stole it, I guess, I don't know, I, I don't blame, I obviously blame myself for just, like, leaving it there, but, uh, either way, that's one of the things that I got that I really didn't need, uh, but it really has helped out because I walk home a lot and having an iPod really does help out, it's, it's, it just calms me down, Sometimes I walk like five miles home and it's just really annoying to have like nothing to do while you're walking home um, So the iPod has really helped me out with that and uh, another thing that I got was actually a DS because my old one broke And now the HD PVR really haven't gotten a lot else. Uh, it's pretty much all the stuff that I needed Well, I didn't really need them, but uh, the stuff that I wanted and I got uh, the other stuff that I have needed are pretty much a new pair of shoes and uh, I'm getting myself some contact lenses. I've wanted some for pretty much uh, like the past six years of my life since I used to have glasses back in like seventh grade. I've never really, I broke them back in seventh grade. I've never had any since then. So uh, I think I really do need those. I can't see crap from far away. Um, so I am nearsighted, which uh, I guess I don't know why a lot of gamer people are farsighted. I guess because being close up to the TV makes them. Uh, be able to see less from close up, but I really can't see from far away, and I don't think it's a problem for me playing lots of video games and looking at the TV all the time. Just, just kind of annoying that I can't see from far away sometimes. You know, people are telling me, "Oh man, look at that! It's so awesome!" and I can't even see it because I can't see from freaking far away. It's really annoying sometimes. Uh, but this dude is about to shoot me, and I want to shoot him before he shoots me, so that'll be pretty cool. There you go. Die. All right, I think there's another guy. I really need some health, look at that, I'm running on 1 HP, and if you guys haven't never noticed uh, while I'm playing this, um, when you're running low on HP, you'll notice Ratchet's ears actually go down like he's uh, depressed or something, but it's it's pretty cool, I, I think it's a cool touch that uh, Insomniac added into the game, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll be going to Florida on July 4th, uh, this is probably going to be uploaded while I'm there, I think I've said that about 700 times, or... Uh, 400 times in the like a boss video yeah I'm the boss yeah I yeah, am I got that man you said it about 400 times I don't even think I've ever showed off this attack but if you crouch and press the square button you can do that cool little wrench attack there uh, this platform raises up as soon as you fly over to it and uh, I guess we're gonna be blowing this dude up or right, never mind oh yeah there we go blow up uh, okay I guess the um the TNT blew up either way uh, let's, uh, I think we're almost done with this episode, actually, so, let's, uh, hit these dudes, and, uh, if you'll kind of look over there, there's, uh, there's another robot, thought that's where the awesome cannon would be, but apparently there's just a robot, and there is only one gold bolt in this, uh, episode, or one, you know, in this planet, uh, so basically all the extra hidden stuff is all just bolts and maybe a skill point, which I'll actually not be getting until the end of the game, there we go, two nades blow that dude up, not really nades, but bombs, whatever they are, and uh, lots more bolts, awesome stuff, alright, I think we're almost done, I'm really not sure, are we almost, yeah, alright, I really just wanted the awesome cannon, it's, it's amazing, I mean, when you guys see it, you'll know, you'll know when you see it, uh, this is like shit bricks, when you see it, you know, shit bricks, damn it, those guys always hit me, it's kind of annoying, I don't really mind getting hit in this game, I'm not perfect at it, but I'm usually pretty good, but I always get hit by those dudes because they're- Ah, do you douche, look at that, I'm almost dead, just because of that one douche. No, 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 Ugh, there we go, dude was about to kick me in the head. I don't know why I pretend like I'm the one getting hurt when I'm actually just playing the game. That would actually be pretty sick though, and I, by sick I don't mean cool, like some 
people actually say that I, I don't know why I said sick, but it would actually be pretty not cool if uh, you would get damaged by playing video games. It's it's pretty messed up. Um, you're playing a video game and you actually get damaged. That would I don't I don't know if technology will ever do that, but it seems like a pretty dick move. Um, either way, let's blow that dude up. And uh, there's the awesome cannon. Finally, we've made it to the awesome cannon. But uh, I guess I'll collect all these bolts and uh, here we go. The suck cannon. Suck cannon basically sucks up smaller enemies and you can shoot the smaller enemies at the bigger enemies to get uh, raped. So that's pretty much the explanation for that. Kind of just interrupted that lady because it's a lot easier for me to explain it myself. For example, we can suck up these small dudes over here and uh, shoot them at the bigger dudes even though they're all dead. Um, but, you know, we sucked up this dude, so there we go. Shoot him off! It's pretty messed up, but uh, pretty awesome. Now we are pretty much done with this planet, so uh, if you want to get the Gloves of Doom now, I, I guess you guys could get it. I really don't use it at all, so I'll get it sometime later. That is it for this episode. Next time, we'll be headed off to Blarg Station Nebula G34. I'll see you guys next time.